Hello dear one, and I'm here at the beautiful meditation gardens of the Holy Spirit Retreat Center in LA. And I thought I'd show you a few of the highlights as I walk around before we get down to talking about whose kind of happiness is this anyway. That's a topic, but here's the walk. There's the entrance. There's a peace post there. I think this might be St. Joseph's Memorial here. I'm not totally certain. I'm not, I'm not too sure what this is. Uh, there are signs on the ground that say N-S-E-W, North, South, East, and West. And there are little, um, I'll show you. See, it looks like school children have painted some rocks beautiful colors. And here are some more, wow. The wind is coming up and there are three wind chimes. And here, this wind chime, listen. Sometimes they, they talk to each other, the wind chimes. And then, as you come back around, here are these beautiful plants here in bloom. And over here, there's a very nice place to sit. See? The sunlight's getting in the way a little bit. And I believe I'll sit here for a while and maybe we can talk. Topic right now is, whose happiness am I living? There are words to that effect. And uh, the reason this is a topic is because I've had a chance to, over the course of the last 10 or years or so, to really examine my ideas about happiness and decide whether they were true or not. And I found out that Many of my ideas about happiness came from uh, fairy tales that I read in children's book that I read when I was very young, or that were read to me because I was so young. And uh, lots of times they didn't fit the reality of me. So um, I think it's good to think about that, to think about what really makes us happy, what do we really need. and what is happiness? Because a case could be made for breaking down happiness to the basic necessities such as um, food, clothing, shelter, getting enough sleep, and having some friends around to depend upon in times of trouble. It's a short list. And uh, Tom Kenyon makes another point about happiness. He, he says he thinks it just depends on attitude. Uh, things can be very chaotic in our lives and if we have an attitude of appreciation or gratitude or an attitude of surrender and letting go to what's actually happening with us with the trust that it's happening because the divine has the best intentions towards us. Um, those kinds of um, emotions and attitudes uh, can create a sense that everything is okay, even if it flies in the face of the reality that we're seeing, you know? And I agree with that to a large extent. I think it's good to provide for ourselves but when all else fails, that kind of attitude can, can see us through.